Mentoring young persons in education can significantly boost their confidence and resilience, helping them achieve their full potential. Shari Girard has passionately done so for the past 32 years, dedicating his life to the education system. The mathematics teacher and acting vice principal of the Stanley John Audlem School of Art, Media and Design has experienced firsthand the recent transformation of the educational landscape. And you look at a lot of the, 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 the jobs out there, the skills, um, opportunities in terms of skills training, and you look at the jobs available, this is what I find actually demands that persons must be of a certain standard. Because you've got our architects, you've got our, our, our um, persons in construction, persons in the foods industry, you know. It actually demands that there's a certain standard, a certain level at which persons have to work. And so, to repair them in school, um, the educators, the teachers themselves, were put through that training program with the assistance of, of the TIDA Council to prepare us to, to, well, to help us really understand it at first and then to be able to impact that level of, of, of um, um, training that the, the, the students themselves would need. The St. Lucia Tivet Council has been facilitating training and support to educators like Girard in competency-based education training, CBET. Perry Thomas, Executive Director of the Council, explains. The focus of that cycle of training is to create capacity within the delivery system, the TVET delivery system. And part and parcel of the training focused on competency-based training, which targeted the teachers um, that are going into the four secondary schools that are dedicated um, institutions for technical vocational education and training. It is our responsibility as a council to regulate the, the TVET landscape in St. Lucia. And part of that regulation is to ensure that the delivery of TVET is supported by persons who are well-trained, able to deliver instructions in the methodology that we all know as competency-based. Jessica Cumberbatch is devoted to a classroom for nearly 15 years. Here, she's teaching office administration to Form 5 students. The CBET training, she says, has increased her capacity to deliver the relevant skills required by students to easily adapt to the job market. The program focused on building practical, job-specific competencies, ensured that the training was directly applicable to my current job as a teacher. Now, by emphasizing hands-on practice and real-world application, it equipped me with the skills that I could immediately use in my classroom. The St. Lucia Tivet Council will graduate several teachers and education officials within the next few weeks in competency-based education training. This approach to learning aims to better align students' abilities with industry needs, creating a more competent and job-ready workforce. Marvin St. Louis reporting.